The 1949 Mercury Custom from Ravel on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And tonight we're going to look at Ravel's Custom 1949 Mercury Kit. Now wait a minute, you're saying, hey, he held up a different box at the beginning of this. Well, there it is. Yes, double-sided, so you can stack it tall on the shelf or across on the shelf. But, either way, the same model is inside the box, so let's go down and open the lid on this baby. Cool customs of a bygone era coming up here as we look at Ravel Monogram's 1949 Custom Mercury Kit. This one is pretty cool because they give you three grill styles, two sets of wheels, and optional decals. It's a skill level three kit. So definitely for the more advanced model builder. Now originally I got this kit because in our model car club we were going to build this, but I never got mine done. So here's the instructions for this Mercury Custom Coupe. I'll just move the parts out of the way. So, this is quite an interesting kit, because unlike the AMP 49 Mercury, this one is completely customized. Starting with the engine, which seems to be a Cadillac style. Cadillac engines were very popular in these cars as a custom swap. Of course, they give you the tri-carburetor. There's all our suspension going in, and it's got the upper and lower cross frame member, much like the AMT 1941 Woody kit, if you guys can check that video out. The wheels are put in with little pins so that there's no metal axle going all the way through. And of course our interior with that beehive oil filter, which is always cool. And we've got the bench seats, very nice upholstery pattern inside, steering wheel, dashboard with looks like decals for instrument panels, or instrument panels, and a radiator. Now here's all the custom goodies that you'll find in this kit. You'll find the original Mercury stock type of grill insert, custom front bumpers from a DeSoto, the custom grill from a Pontiac, and a 53 style Chevy custom grill. As well as you get the taillights and of course DeSoto bumper again. A windshield with the sun visors, and then your lake pipes. Fender skirts, your choice of the stock hood or the louvered hood, and then the old style 50s spotlights, which were popular back then, as well as a little trophy. And here they give you a nice, nice chart of where all the decals get placed, including those neat little ones that go on the trophy. And then of course the optional decals which are flames, which are these, those are also flames, <laughs> so I don't know what they're showing us here, but at any rate, very, very cool. Now let's go look at the model in more detail. We'll start with our decal sheet. As you can see, there's a lot of flames and pinstripes. There's all the little gauges that go on the dashboard and your choice of license plates. It's very, very cool. And here's our Mercury body. And what's interesting about this is it is a chop top, which saves you with the AMT kit of trying to chop the top. I can feel here that I've scraped off the seam lines, but I don't think I got very far after that. Very nice job. Nice to have a chop top as a one piece. These are the choices of hoods. The smooth one and the one with the louvers put in. 
there's the floor pan. Lots of nice detail on there. Our chrome bits with the stock mercury grill. The second set of chrome bits with the Chevy and the Pontiac grill as well as those DeSoto bumpers. And our wheels. There's the Cadillac engine. A set of long fender skirts. The rear bench seat. A tuck and roll pattern on there. And the matching front seat with the tuck and roll. Our frame. <laughs> a parts tree with a lot of missing things, but there's our steering wheel and steering column. Exhaust pipes and rear wheel backs. Or real wheel backs. Engine goodies. The radiator and other supports. Firewall. And here's short fender skirts as well as white wall inserts. Tuck and roll upholstery patterns for your doors. Front suspension goodies. The Mercury dashboard. Lowered rear axle and front suspension, as well as the drive shaft. There's our tires, and you actually get two sets of tires in here, depending on what wheel choices you want. Some more chrome featuring the taillights and that trophy. And last but not least, last but not least, we have the glass and the little metal pins for our suspension. And that brings us to the end of our review of the Revell 49 Mercury Kit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that expose of the Revell 1949 Mercury Custom Kit. And if you would like to see what other cars are in this amazing series, please check out some of the videos here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right here so I can continue in the 1950s. And until next time, have a good drive around wherever you're driving around.